Hello and welcome back to SF a Giants recap and the Giants they get the 4-3 win and it ended on an awesome pickoff by Patrick Bailey so that's what we're going to go over in today's video consider subscribing I make recap videos after every Giants game so let's go over how the offense did the offense they got 9 hits today they did way better than usual but it took them a while to get going we are still only 1 for 4 with runners in the scoring position but we did get 4 runs thanks to a two-run homer by Brandon Crawford, a solo shot by Lamont Wade Jr., and then a double by Luis Mato. So good to see those guys coming through because their bats have not been dead, just a little bit quiet lately. Good to see them coming through. Uh, Brandon Crawford, he came back today, and he got two hits and two RBIs. Good to see from Craw. And then Lamont Wade Jr., he also had two hits, a walk, and an RBI. Good to see for, for Lamont. Um, Patrick Bailey, his pickoff move at the end was amazing. Good to see him. He's been doing amazing on defense, and to see him keep it up is incredible. For the pitching side of the game, Alex Cobb, he started the game. He went six innings, got four strikeouts, but he allowed three home runs and three runs in total, which is pretty unfortunate, but he only allowed four hits. Just three of those hits were home runs. Ryan Walker, he came in. He pitched great. Two and a third of an inning, getting giving up only one, two hits and no runs and getting no strikeouts. But Sean and I, he came in, and he got the save, getting two outs in the ninth to secure the win. So good to see from Sean and I. Our pitching staff has been great this year. Just our offense has been really quiet lately. So to see him put up four runs in this close of a game against a guy like Zach Gallen is really impressive. Let's just hope for more when it comes to an easier pitcher. And let's get our 60th win tomorrow. So hopefully that will happen. But the Giants, they did really well with uh, runners in scoring position today. A uh, one for four isn't terrible. And then gained the power. The power has been lacking. We haven't really had that too many home runs besides like Wilmer Flores and Jock. But everyone else has kind of just been dead. So to see the pop back in the bat with Craw, Wade, and the Matos coming up with the double is really promising to see. Even though with how bad we've been struggling lately. So, thanks for watching. That will do it for today's recap. I'll see you tomorrow after the game.